A hypothesis is a statement that predicts the outcome of an experiment or research study. It is an educated guess about how two or more variables are related, and it must be something that can be tested and measured. Hypotheses are important because they give scientists a starting point for their experiments, allowing them to explore whether their predictions are correct. A hypothesis is a central part of the scientific method, as it provides a clear statement that can be tested through experimentation. It allows scientists to make predictions and draw conclusions based on evidence. By testing a hypothesis, researchers can either support or reject their predictions, leading to a better understanding of the subject being studied. There are four major types of hypotheses. First, there is the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis assumes that there is no effect or relationship between the variables being studied. It serves as the default position that scientists aim to disprove. For example, if researchers are testing whether a new medication reduces symptoms of a disease, the null hypothesis would predict that the medication has no effect. Next, the alternative hypothesis suggests that there is a relationship or effect. Using the same example, the alternative hypothesis would predict that the medication does reduce symptoms. In addition, hypotheses can be either directional or non-directional. A directional hypothesis predicts a specific effect, such as increased exercise leads to weight loss, while a non-directional hypothesis simply predicts a change without specifying the direction, such as there is a relationship between exercise and weight. Testing a hypothesis involves several steps. First, the hypothesis must be clearly formulated so that it is specific and testable. Then an experiment is conducted to collect data, typically involving the manipulation of an independent variable to observe its effect on a dependent variable. Once the data is collected, Statistical analysis is used to determine if the results are significant. If the data supports the alternative hypothesis, the null hypothesis is rejected. Finally, conclusions are drawn based on the evidence, though further testing and replication are often needed. Some studies don't require a hypothesis, especially those that are exploratory or descriptive in nature. For example, descriptive studies aim to observe and document behaviour or phenomena without making predictions about what will happen. Similarly, exploratory research is used when there is not enough information to formulate a hypothesis. These studies are valuable for gathering data and identifying trends, which can later be used to develop hypotheses for further testing. To learn more about the different types of hypothesis, check out my article in the pinned comment. To learn more about research methods, view the videos on the screen.